FX991 set of a cubic function. To be able to do this, we first of all need to turn on the calculator and look for equation. And that's number 5. So you press 5. Then now we look for cubic function. Cubic function is a function with the highest degree as 3. Or in other words, it's a function of the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals 0. I hope you can see that in one of the options already. That is number 4. So you press 4 on the calculator. That means it's ready for entry now. And the entries here are the coefficient of the various terms. So for example, for the s cube, the coefficient is a, and in this case it's 1. So you enter 1 and you press equal to. Second coefficient is negative 3. So negative 3 equal to negative 4 equal to. We are pressing the equal to so that the cursor will be moving on to the next term. And then the last term, which is d, is 12 equal to. And then we have finished the entries. So when you press equal to again, it's going to give you the x values, which are the solution for each question. And our first solution for x is negative 2. You press equal to again. The second solution is 3. And then equal to again, the third solution is 2. Yes. So a cubic function usually will give you three solutions because the highest power is 3. This is how we go about it. Now we go to example 2. And before that, I would like you to pause and work it, then after that, we compare. In case you don't know how to go about it, you press AC first to return to the entry mode. You press AC again to clear the old entries. So now you can go ahead and enter now. And after that, we compare our solution and answers. So I'm sure you entered 1 for A, negative 2 for B, and you press equal to for each of them so that the cursor will move to the next column. Negative 5 for C and then 6 for D. And after that, you press equal to again. It's taking time because it's calculating. Then our x1 is negative 2, which is the first value. x2 is 3 and s3 is 1. So this is how we use Casio fx 991 es plus to find the solution or roots of a cubic function remember that if the question is an essay question then it will require you to first of all solve manually then you confirm your answer by working it with the calculator i hope this lesson has been of help to you if yes then kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this thank you bye bye